Um, hi folks, uh, I just want to thank uh, Banderson TV and uh, Joe Renoni for, uh, for the good comments on the last videos I made. Uh, I did hook the scope up again, uh, here it is, but um, I could not get it to sync uh, on, the, uh, on the sweep properly. I was monitoring the sweep on the plate of the uh, second detector tube, and I did try triggering off of um, uh, channel 1, and also try the external trigger that's on the, um, the back of the uh, sweep generator right there. And uh, couldn't, couldn't really get it. You know, it started get looking maybe a little better, a little promising. And then I said, well, it just wasn't going to happen, you know. I did notice toward 460 kilocycles, there is uh, a little more gain on the uh, IF sections than on the, toward the 480 uh, kilocycles. So what I did was just uh, peek it up real, real carefully, carefully at... 470 uh, kilocycles just like um, the IF is uh, mentioning here that runs at and uh, the gain on the radio is very good and it's, it's much better than what it was when I when I started it and I just want to mention that uh, a lot of times uh, when people uh, repaired radios in the 30s or, or even 40s and 50s uh, they didn't really align them a lot now, well, I shouldn't say in the 50s, but I know that in the 30s, I read that a lot of times when they repaired radios, they had to send it out to get aligned because they didn't really, not everyone did alignments, you know, for one. But for two, one of the other reasons, I, I did have a stuck uh, adjustment, 52B. I cannot unstick that. That IF transformer was, was really stuck and uh, didn't want to force that at all either. Just assuming that where it was stuck was a pretty good position for it to be stuck in because the radio was never worked on. But I also wanted to mention also that in the late 30s they did have high fidelity uh, AM radio stations, uh, experimental ones, but those went by the wayside. And, and nowadays the, the bandwidth on AM isn't really that, that great. It's probably like about uh, 12... Uh, kilohertz bandwidth if, if I remember correctly and the, and the stations that run they that so-called HD radio I think they're only 10 kilocycle bandwidth so correct me if I'm wrong or 10 kilohertz but anyway I was progressing on the RF alignment and I'm just kind of going here because I want to just tell you what I'm doing real quick I had WWV there it's faded out That's for my five foot antenna, but I got it exactly on five megahertz. And the uh, the higher frequencies here, 18 megacycles, 18 megahertz. Uh, I was adjusting that in the morning. I can't demonstrate that now because that band is used predominantly in the daytime. So uh, in the daytime, I'll double check that out because when you go through here, you do uh, like uh, 1550 kilocycles, 580, back to 1550, do 18, 11, 7, 4.5, then you go back to 18. So I want to double check 18 tomorrow. And what I was doing, I was checking out frequencies on my ham radio, has a digital readout, and just double checking it on the, uh, on the scale here and just tweaking it if it was off. So I actually tweaked uh, every band there was for short wave by doing that process. That seems to work very well because the dial re really wasn't off that much. You know, maybe like a mega cycle for tops, but I just brought it in with, uh, with the adjustment. Now, let me show you where those patterns are. Those patterns are on top of the tuner here. You see the four pattern holes, and those correspond to 36, 36A, 36B, 36C. Now the hardest one to adjust is 36B. It's very, very touchy. 
So uh, I tried blowing out with compressed air, not from a compressor, but one of those cans, and I think it maybe helped a little bit. But that was a very touchy one. I also found out that when you move the radio on the frame, the frequencies shift a little bit because the way the tuner moves the wires a little bit. So just very slightly, just wanted to mention that. The other thing I wanted to mention is this. I know I'm talking pretty fast, but I don't want to take all your time. I use a very sh sharp uh, cloth. This is a uh, uh, shop towels, but they're soft. They're soft on one side, they're harder on the other side. I use that to clean the dials. What I do is I hold it next to the dial. I don't use water, because I know that sometimes they use water-soluble inks. So I just hold the, the cloth right there, and then I turn the dial, and it gets the dirt off, you know, when the dial, when the dial rotates. Then I just do the other side, and it gets, it gets the dirt off. You know, you don't need water, and at least in my case, I didn't need water, but I won't use water because, like I said, sometimes they're uh, water-soluble inks. I don't know if they used it on this dial, but I don't feel like finding out. So that's what I did. I used just dry process. Now let me show you the AM here. I got the alignment really good on it. Let me turn the, the volume down. Go through here real quick. 590 Radio Disney. All right. but if it goes on all night, 640 WGST. Should be WSM there. It's not a good night for WSM. Oh, here it comes. It's coming in now. Oh, let me let me tell you something. Uh, I took the speaker down the steps in this box. I just leave it in the box like that, and then uh, it protects it. You know, when I'm done with it, I'll just close the box back up. And when I'm done, done with all my alignments and all that, when I'm going to reinstall, I'll just just kind of flip the speaker over so it's face down in the box and use the box to transport the speaker so no accidents happen. I know it's a dumb thing to say, but, I mean, it's so much better putting the speaker in a box than trying to carry it with in your hands, you know. Accidents happen like that. So I'll go through this real quick here. Hello, the, the songs that are hymns, they have their place. But if you're going 700. Talks about getting a month of Boniva free. If you have a WSB right on the money at 750. That's WBBT uh, in Chicago. I'm guessing they at 880. That hum was actually broadband I have in the house. Rem for your child. Definitely gives them a life skill that can never be taken away from them. Then drive a new 2011 CC Sport. Starting at 50 milligram prescription tablet to treat. Now it's nine o'clock at night though, just want to mention that. That's WALAC at fifteen ten. This is right. It's right on the money there, 1510. Okay, that's just what I wanted to show you there. Uh, okay, it works real good on a short wave. Oh, you want to see something funny here. They have, uh, on a dial here, they have, you see that here, it says Siberia. I thought that was, like, they must have a sense of humor when they did the radio, huh? Siberia.
I have to go up a band. Do a little more volume. I could hear it. It's real faint, but that's WWV at 5 megahertz. What I gotta do is get a better antenna on this thing. I just have like a 5 foot piece of wire. When I get it upstairs, I'm gonna put more of an antenna on it. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to show you. So I'm 